Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privilege today to be joined by Ryan Baumgartner, the head women's basketball coach at Doan, uh, into now another full year of coaching Tigers basketball. And coach, I'm excited for you. I know the last time we had a chance to visit was during the time of no sports. So it's nice to be feeling comfortable that that sports not only can happen, but are happening right now. And what a great start to the season for you all. The Tigers, 5-0 and to start the season. You're coming off an 86-51 to victory over Barclay just the other night. Can you tell us about the opening to your season and, and that game as well? Yeah, it, it has been a really good start. And it's crazy how we're already five games into the season. <laughs> um, and we did play three games in three days this past week. And so that was a little bit of a grind. So that Barclay game, we just had to fight through a little bit of fatigue. And the kids did a great job of maintaining the focus to, to compete at a high level. But I, I couldn't be more proud of the effort this group has given and their buy-in to just doing what they're asked and working really hard, especially on the defensive end of the floor. Um, I think that's been a key to why we're 5-0. and The kids play super hard. And we're small. We're all guards. <laughs> so we got to play a unique style where we press, where we front the post, um, and we just got to play super hard. So they've embraced that, and that's what's led us to this good start so far. Okay, let's go ahead and go there then. I mean, your your defense is giving up only 55.2 points a game. Now, you compare that to last season's 79.2 points per game, dead last in the Great Plains Athletic Conference. I realize it's just five games in. But, yeah, as you're mentioning, Coach, I mean, that that has to be a very good sign for your team and what it can do. Right. And, and part of that is we played a lot of zone last year. That's just how we had to play. Um, this year we're playing man-to-man -man defense. We do mix up some zone in there. But the man-to-man -man intensity with this group is what has made that 30-point swing so far. And we started off the year having to play against Prue State with a Division One bounce-back post player. And so we just really use that to motivate our kids to embrace just working their tails off. And that's what they've done. So uh, it's a unique style. It's been fun to learn and coach as we go. So hopefully we can continue that, that defensive effort each night. And you talk about that Peru State game, too. I mean, that was a close game, one of your closer games. And winning the tight games like that, especially early on, is something I'm sure that can help the players throughout the entire season, that they have that in their back pocket to say, hey, listen, we can do this. It doesn't matter if it goes down to the wire. We can get this done. Right. And, and what we do, we do a two-minute situation every single day, and that's kind of how that game got. And so I think those repetitions in practice – helped our younger kids with the time and score a ton, and they were confident in that situation. So that first game, being that tight, it was pretty fun to watch them just um, be kind of experienced, honestly, for a younger group of kids. And then to play Peru again this past week to see where we've improved, uh, that was also good for our kids to see that we're going in the right direction. We're speaking now with Ryan Baumgartner, who is the head women's basketball coach at Doan. Coach, again, 5-0 and on the season. I realize it's in, you know, still early on, definitely early on in the year. But five wins, that matches all of last season's win total just right there alone. How, how important is that then to, again, it's just like the, the winning the tight games because you, you're, you're not far removed now from heading into tough GPAC play. And it's, it's a, that's, a, that's a challenging conference schedule. Right. And – and that's what we told our kids Saturday after that fifth game is we're going into the GPAC. It's an entirely different world out there. Um, and with a lot of young kids, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. And they understand that. And we're zero and zero. And so they've got that mentality of we got to go prove ourselves again. So th they're never satisfied, this group. And that's what's been kind of cool. And our upperclassmen have helped lead that. Matty Davis um, and Ashley Teton, our two captains, have been great at keeping that mindset. And they're never satisfied, and they just come to work every day. So we're excited for the conference play. It's going to be tough, absolutely. Coach, it's a relatively young roster again this year. I know you had a young roster last year, but you look at the, you know, still many sophomores, freshmen, uh, and on the roster and you're getting good play from them go ahead and address that then what what are these upperclassmen bringing to the table how are, how are they providing leadership yeah their their leadership with their voice and in their accountability man maddie davis no one works harder than that kid 
and she's the loudest voice in the gym every day and she brings it every day no matter what and i get on her harder than anybody else and she just takes that and runs with it <laughs> and i think that speaks volumes to her character and nobody has excuses then they got to match that intensity and ashley teaton does a great job too she's very much like maddie and so they've just brought those freshmen along and those they've been it it could always be touchy when young kids come in and play right and take some minutes away but mm -hmm. our upperclassmen have been very unselfish they want to win and so they've just embraced the abilities that these freshmen have and they understand that they help us so it's been good so far recruiting is important and i know that's a, a big deal and, and you've been able now then to recruit some now in your third season there at the helm at doan one of the big recruits obviously has to be a freshman that's getting a, a lot of time for you and and then it's paying off matt hatcliffe who is putting up 19 points a game, eight rebounds a game, three assists a game. What a find from Southeast Nebraska, pretty much almost in your backyard, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, Mac is a special player, um, and she's another one of those kids that she's just so even keel that no matter what, she's just the same player all the time, and I think that's really helped her get off to this fast start. But we knew that what she is capable of, and she's a big-time competitor, so she's just going to – bring that energy each night and she she loves to win more than anybody else and she's used to winning and that's why we recruited her and you know so we're, we're excited about mac and there's a couple other freshmen in this class that are right there with her with callie staples from broken bow um, she's been a huge asset to us at the point guard position and then boston voucher from wood river um, she can really shoot it so those, those and then Ava Kiel from SCOTUS has been incredible for us defensively. She's super smart. Um, so those four kids have done a done a ton for us in that recruiting class. Coach, you know you were talking about uh, upperclassmen, freshmen, some of the younger players getting time and some time. You know how how's that all going to match up? How, what's the chemistry going to be like? But it looks like you're getting to see a lot of players with court time too. And again, early going, get it five games into the season, things will, will change and evolve as you get into the conference slate. And, and that's part of it. But uh, you seem to be getting a lot of quality time for, from your bench as well. I mean, there are lots of players with minutes. Right. And, and that's we talk about it each day. No matter if you're the starter or last person on the bench, you've got to be engaged. You've got to be ready to go no matter what because you don't know what's going to happen. And, and those kids have bought into that. And so like Sydney Roth coming off the bench the past weekend, scoring 15 a game or whatever it was, she just <laughs> stayed engaged. She's she's bought into her role. And that's huge. And, and kind of the same goes with Olivia Null. Um, a lot of people don't always talk about her, but she can really, really play. Like she went off for 25 points one game. Well, Liv can do that and she, because she just keeps competing. And she's in that same – all of our kids are like that. They just stay in the moment and they keep competing and just do their role. And that's what's been really fun so far. I don't think Olivia Nall is going to be a secret for too long with the, with the numbers that, that she not only has put up, but can put up too. I, I think that they're going to know she's out there coach. I know, I've, I know it'd probably be nice to keep some of the players a secret, but uh, it's, it's going to be tough as they continue to excel like they're doing the GPAC schedule. Really? I know you have a couple more games ahead of you and I don't want to look past it uh, really that, that much, but I mean, it's, it's getting underway and, and uh, well, very, very soon. As a matter of fact, is it, it uh, you're, you're starting this this week now as uh, you get Mount Marty at home and three of your first four games in conference play within the month of November prior to Thanksgiving and and what all goes there the break sometimes that is what it is for coaches and and keeping your kids you know mentally in the game I understand that but you get three of the first four games at home so talk about heading into the GPAC yeah that that is nice it seems like we've always been on the road to start uh, GPAC play recently so that's that's really nice. Um, and we start with Mount Marty this Saturday. Mm -hmm. And they're always a team that can really shoot it, and they shoot a lot of threes. So we we have to be really, really good on the defensive end. Um, they got a lot of guards that can really shoot it. So, And that's going to be like that every night in GPAC play. And then we follow up with Hastings the following Wednesday. And Gina always has them well coached, and they're going to play really good defense. So um, there's never going to be a night off. And our, our, hopefully our upperclassmen um, drag that message throughout the <laughs> locker room all the time so we stay focused. And I think we will. Um, and there's going to be ups and downs with a young group, but our kids want to be good. So 
it's going to be fun to compete in this league like always. Well, Coach, it's fun following you all, and and I appreciate that success to you all this season. It's nice to get to talk about basketball. That's uh, right. I, I'm enjoying the the visit with you on that. So success to you and the Tigers. As you mentioned there, next two games, including starting Saturday, Mount Marty at home, Hastings at home on the road to Northwestern, and then Morningside at home before you head into Thanksgiving. Coach Ryan Baumgartner, thank you so much for taking time with us here today on the Summit, and, and God bless you. Thank you very much.